Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tog Games. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on all future achievement guides and tutorials. Also, if this video helped you, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Hey guys, here to help walk you through the Hiram Cartographer achievement for Western and Eastern Hiram. The first location is Snake at Illusion Cave. When you portal in, there's a giant rock above you and it's actually up there. I'll open a portal so you can see just where I am in regards to when you come to this zone. Next up is Wedge in the Sanctuary. You'll need to portal over to Hiram Cave for this one. You can ride your mount all the way in and at the back right there is a cul-de-sac that you'll need to go into. The ledge is at the back right hand side. You'll just need to jump up onto the ledge and activate this location. Next up is Broken Tower in the Ruins of Hiram City. You'll need to make your way over to Ruins of Hiram City. I'll show you here on the map. And then in the distance you can see the two really tall towers at the back. The one on the left is broken and this is the one that we'll need to land on. Up next is Source of the Nemi River. You'll need to head over to Dragon's Mall and get to the very top. There's a small pool of water that you'll need to swim in for this activation location. Next up is top of the Mountain Gate. The closest portal to this location is the Hiram Camp. You can see the really cool face carved into the mountainside and you'll need to land on top of that. Up next is Ruins in the Nemi River. The closest portal to here is also the Hiram Cave. You can travel over to here pretty quickly. There's a small island in the water, and I'll pull the map up again for you here in a moment. Uh, but there's a broken tower on it that you'll need to get up onto the very top of. Oh, see, there's the tiny little island floating, and that's where you'll need to head to. Owl of Hiram Cave. So, once again, back at Hiram Cave, the rocks just above where you portal in at, there's a super tiny, really cute owl sitting on some rocks, and you will need to go stand next to him in order to activate this location. Up next is Rooftop of the Hall of Warriors. You'll need to head over to the Hall of Warriors and make your way up to the top of the building. Once up there, you'll need to find the highest point, which is here, and then land on top of it. Next up is Center of the Dimensional Clock. You'll need to head over to this big, really cool looking clock here and land right in the middle of it. Up next is Stairway to the Garden. So you'll need to head up to Navel of the World and it's at the very back by this glowing purple gate. Next up is Outcrop near the Gate of the Gods. So the stairs that you took up to the Stairway of the Garden, it's actually the pointiest, tallest rock on the left-hand side, looking back towards the Hall of Warriors. Up next is Ipnia's Blessing. You'll just need to make your way over to Ipnia's Blessing and stand right in the middle of it.
Earth Fissure. Uh, here on the map, you can see there's the the fork in the road, and you'll need to go to the topmost fork side, and you'll see this giant fissure in the earth. You'll just need to walk at the closest point over here to activate the location. Bottom of the waterfall stairs, the closest portal to here is the waterfall camp, and you'll just need to swim under the waterfall at the very end. I'll show you on the map here just exactly where I am, but you'll need to swim down just a little bit in order to activate this location. Basement in the Hall of Warriors. You'll port it back to the Hall of Warriors and go down into the basement and the last table you'll just need to jump on in order to activate this location.